Hello, welcome to this Bible bedtime story. My name is Dan Tyndall. I'm the vicar of St Mary Redcliffe Parish in the city of Bristol. This is a story from the Bible uh, read to you from the Bible, uh, the Book of Books, a, a kind of um, a version of the Bible uh, written by Trevor Dennis. This is the story of Samuel. Shiloh was a holy place and the tent of meeting was there and the Ark of the Covenant was there too. But holy places need holy men and women if they are to shine with the holiness of God. The priests of Shiloh, Eli and his sons, were not holy men. His sons were just out for what they could get. They had no respect for God, nor for those who came to worship at the shrine, nor for the women they worked with. Eli was old and he'd lost his eyesight. And when he told his sons off, well, they just refused to listen. Eli himself felt out of touch with God. And the people who came to Shiloh no longer found God there. No longer did he speak with them face to face, as he did with Moses, like one speaks to a friend. He seemed shut up in a silent and invisible heaven. Things had begun to change, however, when Hannah came to Shiloh to meet with God and found his generosity. She hadn't seen God, nor heard his voice, for Eli had interrupted when he thought she was drunk. But she had poured out her soul to God, and he had filled her to the brim with joy by giving her a son. Then she had added her own generosity to God's. She had given her son, Samuel, back to God. So Samuel was at Shiloh, the living proof of the generosity of God and of the generosity of a remarkable woman. Samuel was still a young boy, and one night he lay asleep inside the temple near the ark. Samuel! Samuel! He had a voice speaking inside his head. He woke up. Here I am, he said. It must be Eli calling me, he thought. So he ran to find out what Eli wanted. Here I am, he said. You called me. I didn't call you, said Eli. Go back to bed. So Samuel went back to bed. Samuel! The voice came a second time. Again Samuel got out of bed and went to Eli. Here I am. You called me. I didn't call you, my son, said Eli. Go back to bed. Samuel. The voice came a third time, urgent and insisting. A third time Samuel got out of bed and went to Eli. Here I am. You called me. Really? You did? Suddenly Eli saw the truth. The strange voice must be the voice of God. He said to Samuel, go and lie down. And if you hear the voice again, say, speak, Lord for your servant is listening. Samuel went back and got into bed, and God came and stood beside him, saying, Samuel, Samuel, speak, for your servant is listening, replied Samuel. And bother, he thought, I missed that Lord. He was just about to say it all over again, you know, properly this time, when God started speaking once again. I'm about to do something extraordinary in Israel, God said. The news of it will make people's ears tingle. Eli and his sons are the most powerful men in Israel, but I'm going to take their power away from them. The sons are wicked men and Eli is too weak to stop them. People who come to Shiloh should find my generosity. Instead, all they find is the greed of Eli's sons. I need someone to take their place. Someone who comes from my generosity and knows it. I need you. You must show me to the people. The silence of the night returned. The distant barking of a fox was the only sound to be heard. And the little boy lay on his bed, his eyes wide open, unable to say anything. He got no more sleep that night. In the morning he got up as usual and opened the doors of the house of God to let in the sun. What would he say to Eli? He hoped he wouldn't have to say anything at all. Then he heard a voice calling him, Samuel, my son. He recognised that voice at once. It was Eli's. He went over to Eli and said, Here I am. What did God say to you last night? Asked Eli, tell me, tell me everything. 
So Samuel told Eli what God had said. And as he did, he was shaking as he spoke, thinking that Eli would explode with anger. Samuel finished and there was silence. Eli did not get angry. Instead, he got up, went quietly over to his seat at the entrance of the temple. He watched the sun as it rose above the hills to the east and said quietly, It is the Lord. It is God. Let him do whatever seems best to him. The story of Samuel. Night night.